Uh, hello, um, this is a how-to tutorial on how to make a fabric face mask um, that can be washed. That can be washed and reused and um, it also can be used to uh, put a filter inside in, it. In or cover an N95 filter. Yep. This mask is not a replacement for the N95. You can wear it on its own or with a filter or over an N95, but either way, you are still susceptible to catching the virus. You still need to practice social distancing while wearing this mask. This is the finished mask. It is designed to have a nose pinch insert and a filter insert. We combined a few different patterns, one of which we created ourselves, and then we also got a pattern from craftpassion.com. The links to the patterns will be in the description below. The pattern consists of four pieces. You have the pattern for the main fabric, the lining fabric, the nose wire sleeve, and for the straps. You will need to cut out the straps and tape them together. The strap pattern should be three inches wide and 35 inches long. Now you need to iron your fabric. Make sure your iron is set to your cotton setting. Lay out your fabric, fold it over once, and iron it flat. Place the pattern for the front of the mask on top of your fabric. Pin it down and cut it out. You should now have two identical pieces for the front. Make sure to put right sides together. Now pin the two pieces together. If you need to, use a washable marker to draw out a quarter inch line around the edge. Now it is time to sew. This entire project you will only need to do a straight stitch. This is how it should look once you are done sewing. Along the seam allowance, you will need to make several small cuts so the piece can lie flat. After you sew in a quarter inch, what you want to do is open this up like this and you want to open up this seam where we snipped and then you're going to pin it down the middle to flatten it out. This is how it should look when you've finished pinning all the way down the middle. Now you need to do the top stitching. You will need to stitch an eighth of an inch away from either side of the seam. This is how the top stitching will look from the finished side. To make it easier for yourself to use two different patterned um, uh, fabrics, fabrics. Uh, for the liner and, and for, the, for the, front. Out, uh, the front because it'll just be easier for you to keep track and to sew yep um, if you at all possible if you if you can if you can't um, make sure to label label your what, fabrics what is the liner and what's the front and what's the front that will help you a lot we used old pillowcases that we had washed in hot water for our liners in order to take apart the pillowcase Get a pair of scissors, pull the seam of the pillowcase tight, put the blade underneath the thread, and then cut. Then rip the seam. If you have a seam ripper, this method works the same. Once you have fully taken apart the pillowcase, iron it flat. Then you could put the pattern for the lining on top, and then pin it down, and cut it out. Just like with the front, you should have two identical pieces. Put right sides together again and pin them. Sew a quarter inch in and then make the small cuts along the seam allowance like you did with the front. Pin down the middle to make sure it lies flat. Do the top stitching one eighth on either side like you did with the front. The nose wire sleeve pattern is two inches by six inches. Use the same fabric that you used for the front. Pin the pattern to the fabric and cut it out. On both sides of the nose wire sleeve, fold over a length of a quarter inch and iron it down. 
Then fold the nose wire sleeve in half. Sew down both sides of the folds. Then pin down the nose wire sleeve to the top of the liner. Sew an eighth of an inch on the top and the bottom of the sleeve. On both sides of the liner, fold over a quarter inch towards the wrong side. Straight stitch over the folds on both sides. This is what it looks like from the right side. Do the same with the front. Now take the front and the liner and put the front sides together and then pin them. Sew the top and the bottom of the mask a quarter of an inch in. Now that the liner and the front are together, fold it inside out. You will need to iron down the edges of the mask as flat as you can. This is how the mask should look once it is ironed. Top stitch an eighth of an inch in on both the bottom and the top of the mask. Iron out your fabric, place the strap pattern on top, pin it down, and cut it out. Once you've cut it out, fold it in half, and then cut it exactly down the middle. You should have two pieces that are one and a half by 35 inches. Fold down a quarter inch on both sides and iron it. Fold the strap in half and iron it all the way down. Unfold and then fold the edges into the crease you just made and then fold in half and iron. Pin all the way down. Sew all the way down the length of the two straps. Fold the strap in half to make a crease to mark the center. Put the strap on the overlapping part of the front. Make sure to line up the center crease of the strap with the center of the overlap. And then fold the overlap over the strap and pin it down. Then sew down the strap and do the same on the other side. If you do not want to make your own straps, you can also use ribbon. To make the nose wire, take a paper clip with rubber coating and unwrap it, and then take masking tape and wrap it around both ends. Put the wire into the nose wire sleeve so you'll be able to pinch the mask over the bridge of your nose. In order to make your own filter for the mask, you will need to buy an air filter that is virus rated or else it will not help block out viruses. Cut out a piece of the air filter the size of your mask and then use masking tape to tape around the edges so the wire does not poke into you. Insert the filter into your mask. This is how the mask should look when you are wearing it. It should be able to pinch tightly over your nose and there should be no pockets on the sides of your face. The straps need to rest tightly on the back of your head. We cannot guarantee that you won't get the virus or anything else like the flu, uh, which is also pretty horrible, or the cold. Um, and um, that, but it's probably better than not Nothing. having a mask yeah. or having um, something quick like um, a handkerchief <laughs> yeah. that you're holding in front of your face. <laughs> Um, and again, um, you know, we're really appreciative of you taking the time to watch the video.